I'm gonna keep this one short and sweet, stilly. So, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have post notifications turned on so you guys are alerted when I'm bringing new content. Smash that like button, make sure. Share it to your sister, your cousin, your auntie, your gal, your neighbor. Share it to the whole gang so they can see this content too. To find me on the socials, you can find me at Javal Berlin on Twitter and Instagram. So go peep that and follow, follow, follow. Like I said, let me say less and keep it short and sweet. To yellow. Mm -hmm. Here we have the Nike Time Sakai Vape Waffle in the tall yellow. This shoe is set to release on the 17th, which is this Thursday, and will retail at £160. Depending on which video you've seen first, I do have both in hand. That is the black villain red colorway and also the tall yellow, which we're talking about now. So, if you haven't seen this video, go check the black villain red out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Apart from that, let's take a look at the details here. We've got the premium suede on the toe box area, which finishes off in a gorge green colorway. Side paneling comes with that yellow netting, which is on both sides on the instep and also the outside of the shoe. We also have a yellow suede section on the eyelet part, which sits very well with the drew laces. You do get an extra set of that, by the way, which is white, which is a nice touch. I will be putting these in immediately. Jewel swoosh, one being painted in white, the other being the green leather swoosh. We also have the jewel tongue, which is a white netted finish. And then also we have a black nylon, which is a second layer tongue. <laughs> We have a green leather heel tap and heel counter, which is a nice touch, blends in very well with the shoe. We also have a white midsole, which is obviously broken up at the lip section with that tan color, which wraps around the heel section of the shoe. Black outer sole, which is a nice touch because I hate shoes that have a white outer sole because when it gets dirty, it gets dirty. Resell, mm -hmm. right now they're going for around 350 to 400 pounds. But I do believe once they drop, the price will remain the same because there's a lot of hype behind these shoes. Definitely behind that burgundy pair. I see that price kind of high still. Mm. Yes, the shoe is very true to size, like I said before, but you can get away with a half size smaller. So them big foot ones, because this shoe does look long the fuck. So you can get away with a half size smaller. Just letting you know, because I feel like the 7 UK that I have, a little bit spacey, but it's calm. It's very calm. In the black villain red video, I did state the burgundy is the best color. I'm still sticking with that. Yes, I'm also still sticking with a 9.5 out of 10. Yes, and yes, finally, this is still the shoe of the year, in my opinion. I still believe so. I want you guys to tell me in the comments below what you think. Which one you prefer, out of all four actually. You know, the other two behind me, you can pick on those as well. Do you believe this is the shoe of the year? Cause obviously the Balvins are dropped, the Mockers were approaching, blah, blah, blah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below because I still believe this is the shoe of the year for me anyway because me likes them a lot. Mm. But yes, that is me, outro, mm -hmm. MV3.